Hello, all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there. This is Dragothian here, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a time capsule video. This is about an hour and a half before we jump into Couch and the Passes open. Uh, I've had a day to kind of think over from my last video. Tamiris, right? So 5335. I played around with her a little bit. For the most part, for the most part, okay, she is set. 5335 is 90% usable. 90 two percent 94 whatever you want to call it right 85 90 95 percent that's kind of where she's at however we, we're going up against two kingdoms here okay and i want to make sure because i'm also likely going to be rallying garrisoning and of course open field fighting i want to make sure that i have the top notch stuff here i mean i've put a lot of money into gear put a lot of money into all these different things and a lot of that has to do with stats and when we're talking about what's going to be seen on the field here, we're going to see a lot of Genghis, a lot of Saladin, uh, a lot of Cav in general, and then certainly a lot of infantry. And wouldn't you know it, um, the skills that I need to max to get her expertise directly affect that. So archers, bonus, that's 10% attack. It's 10% defense reduction. If I'm rallying a city, that's another 10% attack. And then also the expertise, that's another 10% attack and 10% increased counterattack damage which is post formula um, now also to boot and this is what kind of made me want to max her before i get started when attacked reduces the attack of cav units in attacking troops by 10 percent so i'm going to be rallying flags that have got saladin ysg in it or saladin genghis or whatever right i'm going to be rallying cities that have uh cav in it i'm going to be rallying are fighting troops on the battlefield that have, and I'm going to crash evidently too. Um, I'm going to be doing all these things against Cav, and not to mention all the attack and uh, bonuses and the defense reductions and all that good stuff. But the Cav stuff is is what's kind of getting me to the point where okay, maybe we should go ahead and max her, especially considering I'm going to be using her in all phases of the game and maybe it was because of the scout bombing that's happening to me it's pretty substantial amount all day uh let me go ahead and turn off the screen flicker here really quick so we can have a clean slate to play on so with that being said i've decided to max her now i'm also going to do a quick review of her we did a little bit of a skill review before i'm going to show you a talent build for her as well um so let me go ahead and find her again very quickly tamiris here she is and as we are exchanging these for her sculptures, let's go ahead and pull up her talent build as well. So that's this one right here. Open original. Okay, we're good. Well, that's on the screen. Perfect. Let's go ahead and keep going here. We're going to go ahead and max her. And then we're also going to do the mastery guide on her very quickly as well. There we go. Five four four five. I hate having to burn the extra 310 sculptures. However, I also thought about it too. I'm going to be going after Constantine to get Constantine maxed. These would have been the sculptures that I would have probably put into Constantine had I not maxed Tamiris. Um, so, I mean, that's just kind of the, my thought process behind it. I've still got plenty of sculptures here to max from zero to full commanders. So here we are, 5555, five, five, five. bingo, expertise. We've got Pouch of Blood. And again, it gives us the extra 10% attack, 10% increased counterattack damage, and reducing attacking troops' um, attack percent by 10% as well if they're Cav. And then on top of that, the 30% defense reduction that we got by maxing that third skill too. I think we're going to be in really good shape with her being maxed now. Now, again, let's go over why this is so important. So... I was doing some testing earlier, and again, the poison stacks were working brilliantly. Um, 5335, if you just need it for the debuff, and even the 20% defense debuff I had, okay, perfectly fine, right? 30% is better, right? Obviously. So um, the debuffing, though, the skill damage debuffing was working perfectly fine, and the damage that was going out from the direct damage factor plus the additional poison factors that were ticking off were really, really good, okay? It was working really well. So from a damage and a debuff perspective, I didn't need to max. I wanted just that extra little umph because I am gonna be using her in flags. I'm gonna be using her uh, to rally other flags. I'm gonna be using her to rally 
uh, cities. I'm going to be using her to open field fight. I'm just I'm going to be doing it all with Tamiris, and I'm really surprised that it took me this long to get her up and running with what's really necessary um, in today's KBK2 with not, not having Wu, right? Wu not being available in, in Season 2 KBK makes Tamiris even more crucial to have. The more Tamiris you have, especially maxed with the extra stuff I just talked about, the better, okay? So we just went over the skills. Let's go over the talents really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the open field and rally build up here so you guys can see it. Now I went full archer. And again, this is gonna give us the extra damage. Um, the Phoenix tailed arrows is an extra nuke, which is also very nice on top of everything that's already happening. Um, we've got the venomous sting as well. And then again, just the extra damage is all around. You do get effortless in the attack tree. The only other thing that I was thinking about maybe making some room for was, um, I think it's last stand over here, where it increases damage, but it increases the damage you take. I felt archers were a little too squishy to add that talent point on, so I went ahead and avoided it, and instead went for the conquering skills over here, which give me 10%, um, or not, I'm sorry, 9% more damage for the first 10% of your health, and then a counterattack bonus as well, counterattack counter damage bonus as well, or reduction to um, incoming. Let's go ahead and double check that just to make sure I'm not fluffing you here. So this is the 9% um, if I was to actually max her because she's at level 40 right now. But this would be 9% um, for the first 10% of the army. And then this is a counterattack damage taken reduction of 9%. So it's a, it's a defensive skill, which is nice. We need a little bit of extra tankiness on our archers. So that's kind of where I'm at. And again, as far as how usable she is, you really need to have that fourth skill at five before you can put her on the field. You need those stacks rolling um, to make her effective on the field. Now, like I said, I had her at five, three, three, five before, and she was usable. She was usable. You can use her if that's your if that's where you're at, and especially if you're a lower spender and you don't necessarily have all the extra gold heads to put in to max her. If I didn't have a plethora of extra gold heads and if I didn't spend the money that I spent into this game. I would be perfectly fine with 5335. I'd be happy with that. However, I had the tools, I had the capability, we had the uh, technology. So um, I went ahead and maxed her out. And uh, I wanted to have this done before the pass is open here very shortly. So I'm actually thinking about even, and you know, I don't know if this is maybe a, a good decision or not, but um, in fact, it's probably not. Maybe having one of the rallies that hit the pass to come into um Calcha B and Edward Tamir's rally so that we can have that extra skill damage uh for because we're gonna triple rally the pass. So I'm gonna talk it over with my leadership team and see if that makes some sense. Uh and if it does we'll go ahead and do it. If not, then we'll just go Genghis Khan and double C like we always do and um go from there. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and good luck to us K916 as we go into the pass. I will be streaming that here very shortly as well but i wanted to make this video for you guys beforehand because i was going to obviously have her max before the past and i didn't want you guys to miss it so cheers have a good one and take care